parents. Today is a very exciting day because we're not just gonna be talking about parenting, but also we're gonna be talking about tech. Even though I'm a tech enthusiast, we don't really have a lot of smart things in the house. We have a couple of smart lights, some smart plugs, and a couple of smart speakers. Computer, what do you think of YouTube Shorts? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Me neither. And today we're expanding on that list with a smart blind. I'm gonna show you. Uh, this is our bed. This is where we sleep and there is a window behind us and the curtain is usually always covered behind that window. But then we have this side massive window in our bedroom that shines right on our bed. So we always keep this blind down. We just like to sleep in pitch darkness. I'm gonna put this back on. That means that in the morning, whether it's dark outside or bright outside, it's always very dark in this room. I'm gonna demonstrate. I drag myself out of the bed, I walk up to here and I manually have to roll the blind up. What I'm hoping is that the mornings is gonna be so much better when the blind rolls up the moment the alarm comes on. So then I'm just kind of opening my eyes and it's like, ah, oh, there's a sun coming in. It's like, all right, I'm ready. I got the first boost of vitamin D. Let's go kick the day off. This is gonna make us sleep better, thus gonna make us better parents. Let's see what's in this box. So this is the Fear Tour or Fi Tour smart blind from Ikea. This is a blackout blind. They only sell one version of this. And the size I have here is the 38 inch version. There's also a Zigbee logo there. We're gonna get back to that soon. So in the box, you have the remote that comes with a battery, a signal repeater and a USB charger that you can plug this repeater into. Of course, you have the battery that powers the blind, a micro USB cable to charge the battery and man this is a very long cable the mounting hardware this size comes with two brackets some manuals and installation instructions and of course the blind itself which i feel like it looks very beautiful i really like this gray and silver understated look i feel like this would fit in most home decors now comes the best part of every ikea video the assembly. So we have this blind, obviously the manual, old fashioned. You gotta use your hand. Oh, oh. Okay, so before we get into the installation, it's time to remove the old hardware. Look at that cool hand vacuum cleaner. That makes the job a lot less messy. Maybe I should make a video about that next. Now comes the assembly which I think I'm gonna narrate again so I can stay in the zone. We need at least two people. I got my helpers on the bed, check. We have all the equipment as well, check. I absolutely love the IKEA installation instructions. They're so simple, easy to understand. Let's go. Step one, putting the brackets on the blind and then marking the location for those brackets. This is where I got into some trouble. I really wanted to mount this blind in our window frame, but if you take a look, the inside of our window frame is just way too narrow for the brackets. So instead of using the two holes shown in the manual, I use the center hole with a smaller screw. And you know what? After some trial and error involving some cardboard, it totally worked. But if you want to mount this in a similar fashion, it might be worth checking the depth of your window frame. The moment of truth, folks. Oh, there we go. We've done it. Let's put the battery in the remote and plug in the signal repeater somewhere close. So the smart blind is installed, took a lot longer than anticipated, but it's on there, it's secure, it's safe, the battery is in. Let's see if it works. <gasps> wow! Man, this is so cool. Now I'm gonna show you how quickly it's going down or up. So pushing the button. It's not bad, is it? It does sound like for some reason it might be a little louder when it's going up. Set maximum level of extension. There are some buttons on this blind. That's how you can manually, without any remote or without anything, you can use the blind. So now if I wanna set the limit, I'm gonna wait until it goes to the desired position, double pressing the button. If I just bring it down here, and it just stopped. 
we were almost able to finish this yesterday. It's a new day, new shirt. So battery left off, the blind is installed. The great thing about the IKEA SmartThings product that they use the universal Zigbee uh, protocol, which means that even though IKEA says on their website that you need the IKEA thread-free gateway, that, like that big white puck, that's not true because if you already have a Zigbee hub in your home, in my case, I have the fourth generation Amazon Echo. One of the reasons why I bought this is because well it sounds better than the Echo Dot obviously but because it has a built-in Zigbee hub which means they should theoretically be able to natively talk to all the IKEA smart products that you purchase. The main reason why is the next day now because it took me a little googling a little trial and error to make these two talk to each other natively, but they do. So I'm just gonna show you how. If you already have an IKEA traffic gateway, just follow the instructions. It's a straightforward way. If you're gonna go down this path and I'm gonna show you, then there are two things that I wanna worry you about. One, your remote is not gonna work. I was never planning to use this remote to begin with. And the next thing, if there's ever a firmware update, on this blind. In order to update the actual firmware on the IKEA smart things, you would need the IKEA gateway and you would need that whole ecosystem. The reason why that never really bothered me, I don't need this blind to do many things. I want it to go down and I want it to go up. Step one, you can unplug this repeater. You will not gonna need this for now. Step two is resetting the blind, then we're gonna start a new device discovery on the Echo. If you can move your Echo close to the blind, that's perfect. Or just take the blind of the brackets and move it close to your Echo. As we hold down the two buttons on the blind, we start a device discovery. Computer, discover devices. Starting discovery. For the first time in four. I found first device. So if you go onto your Alexa app, go to your devices, you pull down to get the new one. Oh, and it already says, one window blinds discovered. Sweet. And it has a little icon already. First device. I'm gonna rename that to just blind. Now I can control my blind. Let's try. Computer, blind to 20%. There is no IKEA gateway involved in this whole process. These are natively talking to each other because the echo is a Zigbee hub. The command that you can use is basically goes from 0% that's highest and 100% that's lowest. Now we can set up the maximum length again. Once your blind is at the length you want, double press the up button on the blind. It will do a little roll up and down dance if you did it right. Computer, blind to 100%. Perfect. All right, so at this point, this is all set up. In this setup, we are not using the repeater and we are not using the remote. We are only using the actual blind and whatever Zigbee hub you have, in my case, an echo. Setting up the signal repeater is optional, but you already have it, so might as well. All you have to do is plug it in and find a pin so you can hold down the reset button for five seconds. Once the last starts pulsing, ask the echo for another device discovery. Starting discovery. I found second device. <gasps> you did? Oh, thank you, Echo. Oh, one other discovered second device. Because this is just a signal repeater. There's really nothing you can do with that. But the fact that it showed up here means that it's actually repeating the signal. Basically, with the setup right now, I can use a percentage base. Like, let's say, computer blind to 46%. In case you wanna be like super specific. It would be nicer to say something more intuitive. Let's set this one up quickly. I can create a routine when I say, uh, let the sun shine in. When I do that, add action, smart home, all devices, and I have my blind here. And see, here I can set up a percentage. So what percentage should it go to? 100% when it's totally down, so 0% when it's up. So let's say, let's say like 5%. Let's do another one. Embrace darkness. All devices, blind, boom, 100%. Let's say if I want the blind to come up in sunset or go down at sunrise, I can totally do that too. Plenty options to do here. You can just do your regular smart things, routines and stuff. Computer, let the sun shine in. Nice! The sun shining. Computer, embrace darkness.
Yeah! And it's gonna stop, it's gonna stop. Ah! Chef's kiss. But well, wasn't this a fun video? Okay, that's it. This is way longer than I anticipated. So now we have a blind. Fantastic. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Hopefully it's gonna be a nice quality of life, little teeny beeny quality of life improvement. And are you ready to see what Apple just did? Let the sunshine in. What? what do you think the command for dark? Put the blind down. <laughs> <sighs> All right, computer, embrace darkness. <laughs> Alright friends, that was the video for today. Was not feeling well this video, I'm very sorry. You didn't get any of me. Subscribe for more content. Are you being parented well? Yeah. Hey, I mean, I would believe her, she's the one being parented. Watch this video where we talk about the bed that we bought from Ikea for Annabelle and this video that you do think you should watch next. See you next week. Hit the bell! Wait. Hit the bell!